Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and Time for Fun Friday. So, I was thinking about healthy snacks because I told you I would try to bring those every Friday. And so, I've been thinking about things that, you know, we're harvesting a lot of and whatever so we can use some of those things up. So, I got to thinking my cucumbers are like crazy. And Jack just brought in another four or five of them I just washed up. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll be adding some to my sun pickles because um, they're the bigger ones, and that'll be fine. So, I decided let's do some more cucumber recipes, because it seems like people like cucumbers. So, let's get started. So, now the first one I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my skinnier cucumber that I have. Let's cut the ends off. And I'm going to cut these kind of thin. Not too thin, but, you know... Thin enough. And if we run out of cucumbers, I got more over there. <laughs> I still have those cucumbers that I chopped up the other day with that new machine, but we'll eat those up with vinegar. So that's no big deal. I'm getting hungry. So, <laughs> all right. So the first one I thought. Um, I seen this and I thought this was really cool. Let's move that off to the side and bring this over here. We're going to use a little bit of cream cheese and we're going to put it on our cucumbers. How much how much cream cheese you use, that's up to you. I should have brought it out earlier and made it a little bit more soft. But well, I didn't. So, now I'm going to take ham, or turkey, I'm sorry. You can use whatever you want. You know, if you want to use ham, whatever it happens to be. And then we're going to put another one on top. And we're going to make a cucumber sandwich. So, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> mm. So let me make the rest of these up, and then I'll be back. So I ran out of turkey, but I had those little salamis left. Well, we had, I just opened it. Actually, we haven't even eaten any of the cheese yet either. When Tom works um, during the week, there isn't much time for munching at night. <laughs> so... I finished them off with salami, and then he just texted me and said he'll be getting to work tomorrow, so he'll get overtime, so he'll have a little treat. And I'm not going to lie, I had a couple because I was starving. <laughs> now the next thing, every week what I've been doing is, um, I do have issues with gluten. Um, that's why when like everybody goes, can you make biscuits or whatever with it? Tom and I are not bread people, but sometimes it really messes with my stomach. So, um, what I've been doing is every week, so that, you know, you don't just stop and get a slice of pizza or whatever, I've been making up egg salad or tuna salad. Next week I'll make chicken salad. And I've been making it up in a bigger bowl, and then I've been eating it with my celery or my um, radishes or whatever I happen to chop up. Then I seen this, and I thought it was so cute. And I'm like, I would really like to try that. So, this is what I got left of my tuna for the week. <laughs> and I had Jack do it one week and then, because I made it for him and then he hasn't done it since. So, alright, so we're going to take another cucumber and we're going to cut the ends off there. Now, these ones we want to cut a little bit thicker. See how easy I can bite into them. <laughs> and we'll do that one right there. Okay. Then what I did is I bought a melon baller. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go all the way through on the other side. But I'm going to clean that out. Don't go all the way through the bottom. Then, 
what we're going to do is take that tuna, and you could stuff it with whatever you want. I happen to have tuna this week. And stuff it with tuna. I'm not saying you have to make them for lunch, but wouldn't they be great to have for like little snacks to send to work or, you know, um, if you're having a party, something like that, I think that'd be great. And like I say, you can make your tuna however you want. If you don't want to use tuna, if you'd rather use egg salad or chicken salad or whatever your heart contents, you do it. What sucks is we're cleaning up. Oops, I went all the way through that one. <laughs> is I like the seeds in it. <laughs> Just like I like the seeds in my, um, my pickles. My tuna fish, I just add eggs. I add um, my sweet relish. Uh, this one, I think I put a little bit of celery in it. Um, trying to think what else. Mayo, mustard. Yeah. Um, I don't think I put anything else in there. Oh, onions. Yeah, I put onions in there too. I love the way my tuna tastes and it just yummy and everybody cooks it or makes it differently, but that's how I like mine. Last week I did egg salad. I figured that's quite a few. Um, it's a lot of protein, you know, and protein is good for you. Look at this and it fits in there perfectly. And I'll get to use up the rest of my tuna. And have lunch at the same time. <laughs> I got one more. Did have two, but well, I went through the other side, so that probably wasn't good. <laughs> that lasted about perfect for the week. I'll make this a nice full one. How's that? Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, that's messy. Mmm. <laughs> that's very, very good. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Imagine having those at a party. That'd be great. All right, let me get set up, and we're going to do the fun stuff. All right, so I hope you're enjoying the healthy snacks and, and the fun facts that we do afterwards. These are not my real glasses. These are just my reading glasses. I'm still training my eyes to do the dividing thing there. <laughs> So I'd gotten a request a few weeks ago about doing um, animal fun facts. And I thought that would be fun. I have not read these, so I just printed them off and we'll see where we go. <laughs> All right. Pigeons can be trained to learn artist styles. Trained pigeons can tell the difference between the painting of Pablo Picasso and Claude Monet. Pretty smart, huh? The peacock mantis shrimp can throw a punch at 50 miles an hour. Holy crap. I guess you don't want to make him mad. A peacock mantis shrimp punch accelerates quicker than a 22 caliber bullet. That's pretty cool information. Studies have shown that wild chimps in Guinea drink fermented palm sap. It contains about 3% alcohol by <laughs> Must be the chimps want to get messed up. <laughs> the chevrotain looks like a tiny deer with fangs. The fantastic beasts are neither deer nor mice. I'll have to look what those look like. Campuchan monkeys pee on their hands to wash their feet. Ugh, gross. 
don't follow their example. Here's a helpful guide on how to wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Only the males are called peacocks. Females are called peahens. I actually did know that. I dated a guy in high school that he had a peacock. Dragonflies and damselflies, damselflies form a heart with their tails when they mate. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right. Baby elephants suck their trunks for comfort. Elephants, they're just babies like humans. I didn't know that. Oh, how cute. All right. Tigers have striped skin. The patterns of a tiger stripes are as unique as the fingerprint. I imagine that it is, probably, because, like, how would you duplicate it? I mean, we have all the same things as humans, but we're all different to some degree, even if we look alike. Crocodiles can gallop. <laughs> I did not know that. Don't worry, you won't see any gall galloping crocodiles on the Kentucky Derby. A grizzly bear's bite is strong enough to crush a bowling ball. Grizzly bears are incredibly powerful animals. It can crush a bowling ball. Imagine what it could do to your body. Yeah, let's not find out. Aw, sea otters hold hands while they're sleeping. They do this so they don't drift apart. I was thinking it was like some love connection or something. <laughs> Prairie dogs say hello by kissing. Think of it as a rodent version of a handshake. Aw, that's cute. You know, sometimes animals are so not so much different than us. Elephant shrews are more likely related, are more closely related to elephants than they are shrews. Hmm. The adorable rodents live in Africa. Flamingos are naturally white. Flamingos diet in brine shrimp and algae turns them pink. I did not know that. Alberta, Cal Canada is the largest rat-free populated area in the world. Alberta is the only province in Canada that does not have rats. Wow. I seen a rat once. Well, I thought it was a cat. My mom used to own the property across the street, and that's where she used to park. And so I was parking up there, and I was coming down, and my mom was getting out of her car, and I go, Man, look at that cat. I said, I feel sorry for it. Look at its tail. She goes, Chris, that's not a cat. It's a rat. And I'm like, we live by the river. So, you know, there's going to be river rats. I won't, That's the only one I've ever seen. I was probably about 20 when I seen that. Oh, my gosh, that was a long time ago. Do you know my 40th school thing is next month? Ugh, God, I'm getting old. Tom's in two years will be his 50th. He's really getting old. Anyway. Red-eyed tree frog eggs can hatch early if they sense danger. They can cat, they can hatch days before their anticipated hatch date. Don't you wish it could be like that with birth? <laughs> you know, my kids were 14 and 15 days overdue. Like, hello, get out of there. But you're scared to get them out because, you know, you know all the pain. But then you think about, geez, can you just evacuate? <laughs> Um, white-tailed deer are fast sprinters. They can speed. They can sprint at speeds up to 30 miles an hour. And you know, I did know that because my ex-boyfriend and I used to live up north by my grandma, and we lived out in the country. And um, we seen deer running one day, and we sat there with our car and was timing them. And they do run. I think even a little bit faster than 30 miles an hour. <coughs> I did not know this either. Blue Jays mimic hawk calls. They do this to scare others away from back, other backward backyard birds. In the UK, the British monarch legally owns all unmarked mute swans in open water. I wonder why. The swans are just one of many surprising things Queen Elizabeth owns. How do you own... Oh, but anyway. All cl Clownfish are born male. What? I'm lost. All, I have to look this up. 
All clownfish are born male. Some turn female to enable mating. How do you do that? Moray eels have a second set of jaws. Their moray, their moray eels' second set of jaws extends from their throat. Can you imagine having another set of jaws in your throat? I have a hard enough time swallowing what this is. The axolotl can regenerate its limbs. The amphibian can even rebuild their brains. Holy crap. <laughs> heart, beat, heart to beast evade predators by running in zigzag patterns. Contrary to po popular advice, people should not do this to escape an alligator. Ant eaters don't have teeth. Ant eaters use super long tongues to eat bugs, which they crush with their stomach muscles. I see. Fruit bats don't use echolocation. Fruit bats have excellent sense of sight and smell. You know, I wonder about that because they say that bats actually have like sonar and that's how they zoom in on it. I don't like bats. I know they're a necessity, but Male ring, ring-tailed lemurs stink fight. They use perfume as a weapon and waft scent to each other. <laughs> Touche. Lynx have very large feet. A lynx large paws enable them to run in very deep snow. I did not know that. All right, so we have another 20 of them. We'll do them next week. So I hope you like those and the person that special requested the animal ones. Those are pretty cool. I didn't know most of those. You know, the fun facts, it's so funny because actually we're learning something unless you knew it already. You know what I mean? And like, I don't want to be dumb or anything, but there's a lot of that stuff I didn't know. <laughs> so I guess it's nice to have the fun facts here and there, right? So... <clears throat> excuse me um i hope you enjoyed today's snacks and i hope you enjoyed today's fun facts and i enjoy doing the fun fridays if you guys don't like them let me know and i'll stop doing them but next week we'll finish up that list because i think that's pretty cool and thanks for the suggestion i can't remember who suggested it to me somebody <laughs> anyways so I do have other lists that I print out because every once in a while I pull them up. And I don't read them as per requested. I don't read them first. So we get to be shocked and awed together. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for sitting here with me and just hopefully having some fun and learning some new snacks. You guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing. And I'll see you at supper.